goodness! Han Solo! It is I, C-3PO. You probably don't recognize me because of the red arm. Look who it is! Did you see who... Uh, uh, oh. Excuse me, Princess. General, sorry. Come along, BB-8, quickly. Well, anybody watch Clone Wars? Well, very good. Yeah, I am lucky that not only is my character C-3PO in all of the movies and all the spin-offs, but I have been allowed through something in the Force to be able to uh, play the part of 3PO in all sorts of different ways, uh, be it because I am the voice and the body of the character. Even, even, get ready, in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Anybody see that? Oh yeah. All the way through. Crazy guy, crazy guy. I tried to watch it the other day. It was truly, truly awful. It was, I think, made by the dark side, wasn't it? Yeah. They were trying to get people to hate Star Wars. But it didn't work, did it? No. I, I think you, there's so little you can do now to, to get Star Wars out of the consciousness. It is, honestly, when, when historians study our era, they're going to go, oh, these guys had some weird gods. Look at this one. Like, they, it's, it's become biblical. And I'll they, still be in that costume going, <laughs> get me out of here. Oh. Surely, though, the costume's got better over the years. It, it has, and for uh, episode... I lose track of the numbers. For The Force Awakens, J.J. Abrahams said, would you just like to do the voice and have somebody else be in the costume? And I said, no. And he said, quite right. Uh, but, but I said, I would like a new costume. And he said, quite right. So, in fact, they 3D printed it, which makes it uh, just as heavy, but it means you can fiddle with bits and change them a little more easily. So, for instance, the head, which used to take half an hour to put on, wow, and that means they did not want to take it off, because that would be another half hour. So I would spend the whole day with my head in a box. Now it goes on in eight seconds. Brilliant. Which means I can take it off between takes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's... Because everyone's heard horror stories about every costume in Star Wars ever. Like, I don't think anyone has had a costume in Star Wars and come to one of these things and gone, you know what, it was really comfortable. <laughs> um, people don't realize the, the suffering that goes on on the set. You know how the stormtroopers really, really move? You know, they're very threatening. Unless, of course, you point a blaster at them, in which case they just fall over. <laughs> But the stormtroopers used to walk because there is something magic about the word Atu. Atu Titu. No, it's not it. There is something magic about the word action. Everybody is messing about and then people say, okay, stand by and action. And suddenly the guards are like that. Stormtroopers like that. Very military. Yeah. Hut, hut, hut. Hut. Immediately they go, <laughs> because all those cheap plastic costumes used to cut into very, very sensitive parts of their body, a bit like 3PO. So, and I would find little groups of stormtroopers with their costumes sticking bits of cotton wool and plaster inside. All, um, so be, you know, be, be mindful of stormtroopers. It's not as easy as it looks. I, I, I love the thought, just a little med room with them all in their kits, just with little plasters being put on and stuff. Sure, and indeed helping each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's kind of cute. They, they've really been in the trenches, those guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, again, with obviously the, the, the history of you being from, from first film to, to the current films, um, How's the process of change? Because I read as well that during the prequel ones, you got a, a whole uh, film where it was actually a, a blue or green screen suit, because they obviously C-3PO was see-through. Is that true, or is that not at all? Did you get any points? Oh, I see. In episodes one and two. Yeah, Phantom um, Menace, yeah. How, how, how we would do that is, often when you see something magic, uh, it's, it's purely on the computer. So to do that, uh, I would be wearing the puppet, which was the whole thing strapped to my body. 
Now, I, I'll come on to this. Which meant that 3PO's head was in front of my head, which meant I could never see whoever I was talking to because my head was in the way. It was very, very irritating. I kept, you know in the theater, when you sit down and somebody sits in front of you? It was like that, except the head kept moving. It was really irritating. Um, so what you do is you shoot, you lock the camera off, and you do the whole scene like this, and you would, uh, and then with a puppet, and it's kind of hard to show you, but um, attached to the toes, the knees, the waist, the chest, the shoulders, uh, the head, and then the arms were on sticks, like in a Japanese bunraku theater. And so you move around as three C-3PO, his feet attached to mine. Then you come out of the way, and you do do the scene again, but with nobody in it. And then in Photoshop, grown-up Photoshop, you wipe away all the bits of me that you didn't ever want to see. It's kind of weird. That was... We shot all the first film like that. Uh, I wasn't in the costume, I was doing the voice. And then in episode two, we're going to do the same thing again. But then, it was Padme. Padme came in in the middle of the night and asked Threepio if he was happy. And he said, well, it's difficult being naked, if you'll pardon the expression. And so she dressed him up. And it was cute because she said, well, there's a box of coverings here. She dressed him up. And then it was a really cute scene. Everybody was very happy. Threepio was thrilled. And then George went, yeah, got no time for this sensitive shit. So we, um, I'm sorry, it's French. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so he said uh, we had to go back and do the whole thing with me now in a rusty costume and we just accepted that, that um, the 3 po had grown up but the terrifying thing with the puppet was when I was introducing everybody on Tatooine I said the floor is a little rocky it's dangerous and they said no it's fine I did four takes five takes walking forward, introducing so-and-so to so-and-so to so-and-so. Take two, da-da-da-da-da-da, take three with a puppet there, take five, I walk forward and hit a rock, and bang, I hit the floor, and so did the puppet. They were very upset. Not as upset as I was, but they were very upset. They didn't care about me. I had smashed the puppet. Ah, uh, they eventually stuck him back together again. He's in a museum. So now 3PO is, is I have to say, in one piece. But of course, J.J. Abrams is about to direct the next movie again. So what do we think he's going to do to 3PO this time? I've already warned him. Lay off the arms. Okay. No more red arms. Go for it. Let's go. Sir, if you'll not be needing me, I'll close down for a while. Sure.